Animal adoption is the process whereby a person brings an animal, mostly cats and dogs, to their own care. These animals that are either lost or abandoned are taken by the animal control to be kept in animal shelters. Pets that are kept in shelters for a long time are euthanized to reduce the number of overpopulation of unwanted animals. The inspiration of this project is a web-based adoption site for people to be more aware of stray animals waiting to be adopted around Thailand. These are the problems that are found in the process of adopting an animal. Animals profile. Most shelter animals have a reputation of being aggressive animals that roam around the streets and are taken in by the animal control because of their wild behavior. Therefore, our project has focused on presenting the user with each animal's personality descriptions to gain the user's interest to adopt the animal. Unqualified adopter. When an animal is adopted by a person, most organizations do not take in caution on whether the animal is taken in by good hands. Therefore, a personality evaluation must be taken before someone adopts an animal. Information retrieval. Animal adoption shelters usually ask the adopter for their contact information, but never actually keep in contact with the people who adopt the animals, especially when their records are difficult to retrieve because they are kept as hard copies. User requirement. There are two types of user, adopter and admin. User requirements for the adopter are to register to the system, to view animal on shelter with some information, to be able to ask questions to the system, to send a request to adopt an animal to the system, to be notified of adoption result. Next is the requirement for admin to be able to manage animal information to be able to manage adoption requests record to be able to approve adoption request and to be able to send email to users for their information about adoption results to the system and lastly to be able to confirm whether the user has come to adopt the animal or cancel the adoption request. The objectives of this project includes to develop a system that provides function to support users, to maintain records of animals in the shelters and users information, to develop a system for administrators to be able to approve the user's answers, to inform users of their result after sending their request to adopt an animal, to provide a function to send an email to the user. Registration. This function allows the user to register as a member to interact with the system. The system requires the user to log in before going through other processes. Questionnaire. After registering into the system, it is mandatory for the user to fill in the questionnaire about their background, interests, lifestyle, and history of raising a pet. Administrator updates data. All animals records are input and updated by the administrators. Animal records such as their name, breed, gender, approximate age, coat, color, and size. View information online. The user can view the records of the animals in the shelter by going through categories and lists. The user can also view information about the shelter and also where to contact the shelter. Adoption requests. The user can select the animal they want to adopt and send a request through the system, which will then notify the administrator of a new adoption request. Email notification. After reviewing the questionnaire, the administrator will send an approval email through the system to the user whether they meet the qualifications of being a decent pet owner or not. Adoption confirmation. The administrator can confirm to the system whether the user has come to adopt the animal or cancel their adoption requests. Recording adoption records. The system has a database of past adoptions records along with the user's contact information which can only be viewed by the administrator. The limitation of this system is that the questionnaires can only be approved by the administrators and not approved automatically in the system.
The administrator has to manually go through each question done by the user to approve whether the user has the qualifications to adopt the animal or not. The development tool that we use first programming language. We use PHP, HTML5, CSS3. Database, we use MySQL. Web server, we use Apache. And tools manager, we use SAM. For the first one, we talk about the cost analysis. We learn a web hosting from GoDaddy dealer. We learn an economy package. We, use, we have one free domain and 100 gigabyte storage. And the cost is 2,108 baht per year. Next one is for benefit analysis. First, user do not have to contact the administrator to know the result of their adoption. They can view the result of their adoption request to their email. Next, the reports and information are kept in electronic form and can be easily maintained by the administrator and they can access the records whenever they want to. All reports are kept in an electronic file so that they may last longer and have less chance of being lost or damaged. Administrators can easily manage records such as the animal records, request record, and history record in the system. These are the seven methodologies used in implementing our system. Number one, project identification and selection. In this project, we aim to develop an online animal adoption system, which will focus mainly on managing the animal record. Number two, project identification and planning. We have greater user requirement of this system and prepare the scope and objective. The result from this phase are scope and limitation, objective, feature, and user interface design. Number three, analyzing system need. We have studied and identified problem of existing animal shelter. Then we develop data flow diagram of this existing system. We also develop data flow diagram and ER diagram for the proposed system. Number four, deciding the proposed system. Based on the analysis phase, we convert ER diagram into relational database model and create data dictionary and data for and user interface are designed in this process. Number five, development of the proposed system. In this phase, we are going to convert the design of proposed system to computer software, which include computer programming using PHP MyAdmin as a software tool to write in, in PSP. Number six, testing the proposed system. In this step, the process of testing whether the programming code will work correctly with the condition in our system or not. Number seven, implementing the proposed system. We wish to launch this system on the internet so that users are able to view the animation available animal for adoption and send request to adopt the animal to the system. This is our can chart for project management. You can see from this table, the first one we identify and selecting topic. We use about three days. After we selecting the topic already, we, we do the project integration and planning. We use about one week. After we do second step, we analyze system need. We use about 40 days. After we analyze the system, we decide the proposed system. We use about one month. After we decide the proposed system, we do the documenting the proposed system. And we use about one month. After last step, we finalize project report and presentation. This is our data flow diagram. The first process is create new user. User need to fill in personal information. And then the first process send user information to answer questionnaire. And user need to answer the questionnaire to second process. After finish second process, it produces user information and questionnaire answer to 
user data store. The third process is login process. User need to fill in ID and password, and it will bring user verification from the data storage user. The admin will do the same way with this process. The fourth process, the fourth process is list of pets. User need to fill in search key, and the fourth process will bring pet record from data storage animal and show pet information to user. The fifth process is add new adoption request. User will send the request, which will bring pet ID from animal data storage and user information from user data storage, and send the request to call to keep in. Request data storage. The sixth process is show request. Show request is the process to show request to admin, which bring request from data store for which is the request and send adoption request to admin. Seven is send adoption result to email. Admin need to send the adoption approval to process seven, and then approval email will send to the user. For eight process, update adoption status. It will update in history that the adoption is finished or it's been cancelled. The nine process is add update delete page information. Admin fill in page information changes and process nine will update. Pet information in animal data storage. Ten, send message for user to contact us to admin. The message will send by user, and user information will be from data store user. And the message will be keep on contact us message data store. And lastly, eleven process show message, which will show message to user and admin. This is our ER diagram, which showing how we keep, store, and adjust the data in the system. They are consist of seven table with each user, survey answer, contact us message, request, animal, history, and admin. And the relationship between each table, for example, one user can select many animals at a time, and one animal can be in more than one request from different users. Also, one admin can respond to many requests in the system. User also can send a message to the system that can respond by. An admin. This is our home page of the website, which show the future pets, and also user can use filter function to search the pet that match to their need by using filter function and click search. This is sign page. If user would like to make a request, they are required to create an account and sign into the website first before make a request. This is sign up page for the new user who would like to make a request. They must fill all the information on the text box and click next 
to answer our survey question. The survey question is a must because we we have to use this answer to make a decision about the user request that appropriate to the pet they selected or not. This is a list of an animal pets. We have divided into four categories with uh, our pets, dogs, cats, and pets with special needs. Once they found the pet they prefer to adopt, just click on that picture of the pet and more information, background, and more pictures will be shown. If they really want to adopt that pet, just click on Adopt Me button and waiting for admin to respond to the request. Among aspect is telling about our background, objective and goal, why we have to make this service, why animal adoption is important for them. It is contact aspect with visual over contact information, for example, phone number and email, and also the map that make the user know that where are we exactly. User can click on the blue button to send us a message if they have a question and waiting for an admin to respond the message. This is the administrator's homepage. They can select the animal they want to edit or delete. After selecting the animal to edit, the administrator is able to change the name, breed, gender, estimated age, coat color, size, and the description of the animal. This interface is for adding a new animal. This is where the administrator views the user's request to adopt an animal. The administrator can click on the user's picture to view the user's answer to the questionnaire. So as you can see, the user's answers are highlighted. This is where the administrator has to go through manually to see whether the user can pass the questionnaire or not. The administrator will then send an approval email to the user by selecting the mail icon. The green icon means that the user's request has been approved, as well as the red icon means that the request has been rejected. If the user shows up to adopt the animal, the administrator then can select adopted, which will then be stored in the history records. But if they do not show up, or if the user calls to cancel the adoption, the administrator will then can select cancel to stop the user's request. This is where the administrator views the user's messages. They can select the blue link to read what the user has said. And for the last interface, this is a record of adoption requests made in the past.